said you're not considering yourself running against any other candidates. However, the voters will be comparing you to uh, Trump, to Nikki Haley. What makes you stand out in comparison to them? I think the voters want somebody who they feel can win against the, the Biden-Harris administration. That's what they're going to be looking for. And it's not just policy, it's personality, it's relatability, it's likability. And I'll leave it up to the voters. I think the most important thing is whoever it is, whoever the nominee is, he or she, we must get behind him or her to make sure we'll have four more years of this administration. So that's the main thing. I think voters are looking for somebody who can win. All the candidates bring something to the table. Donald Trump has a record he can run on, obviously. Uh, Ron DeSantis, if he gets in, has a record he can run on. Uh, but I've been talking about issues for 40 years, writing about issues for 40 years, debating these issues for 40 years, whether it's about guns, whether it's about foreign policy, whether it's about immigration, whether it's about uh, economy, what causes inflation. So I have a record as well. I've written 1,200 columns. I have probably 30 or 40,000 hours of radio. I ran for governor of California, the fourth largest uh, country in the world if it were a separate state. And I got 3.5 million votes, uh, more than almost all the other 45 rivals on the replacement side combined. California has 58 counties. I carry 57 of them. The only one I lost was San Francisco and lost that by less than 200 votes. In eight weeks, because I got in with eight weeks left, we raised $27 million, more than all the people on the replacement side combined, from 150,000 individual donors. And Sarah, half of them came from outside of California. Now, why would somebody who doesn't live in California, never lived in California, not planning on moving to California, donate to a California governor? Because they know that California policies infect everything, whether it's uh, the policy that affects people out here in Iowa that requires uh, pig farmers to put the pigs in a certain area uh, and um, left-wing policies that California has enacted affects everything. So a lot of people outside the country wanted to help to make sure that California, uh, to pr try to prevent some of the ridiculous policies that California has from affecting the rest of the country. So I finished the campaign. I go to Key West, Florida. Never been there before. I've always considered myself to be first and foremost a writer. And Key West is where Hemingway wrote most of his books. I walk into a restaurant. Hey, Larry, I contributed to you. I wish you had won. Why don't you run for president? Hey, Larry, I threw something in your tip jar, as you often say. Why don't you run for president? And so many people recommended that I run for president. I hadn't even thought about it until I went to Key West. My point is, these are people that have been watching and believe that I have an opportunity to not only get the nomination, but to win.